Hello everyone. Now I'm going to solve the question number nine in chapter seven. So in this question, there are two players, player one and two. Their strategies are coming from the zero one closed interval. So there are infinitely many strategies available for both players. And these are the best response functions already given to us. So the question doesn't give us the payoff functions, but rather gives us the best response functions. Um, so here, our textbook is using this S1 bar, S2 bar thing. So what does that mean? First of all, it means uh, the player ones and two strategies uh, could be mixed strategies. And a mixed strategy is, remember, a probability distribution over the set of strategies. So here, the set of strategies are 0, 1. So a probability distribution over 0, 1. So instead of indicating a mixed strategy, uh, the, the, the strategies are indicated by the mean, the averages of those probability distributions. But if it is confusing for you, you can just ignore the bars. You can just assume that S2 bar and S1 bar are in fact nothing but pure strategy, meaning a real number between 0 and 1. The first part of the question is asking, uh, well, draw the best response functions for uh, these two players. And that's relatively easier. So let's call this S1, S2, uh, if you like, bars. So here, remember the strategies are coming from the interval 0, 1. So the maximum strategy to pick is 1. And so, uh, well, this has to be a rectangle. So let's put 1 here. All right, that looks more rectangle to me. Okay, so here, this is the 0, 0 point. Uh, the first guy's uh, best response function is simple because it's just a straight line, uh, x equals y straight line, or the 45 degree line. Okay, so this is the uh, best response function for firm one, uh, player one, I'm sorry. What about the second player strategy? Well, the second player strategy is the following. Uh, when uh, <clears throat> uh, when 1 over 4 plus uh, well, I, I don't know why I have red color. Uh, when 1 over 4 plus S1 bar is less than or equal to 1, which basically means S1 bar less than or equal to 1 minus 1 over 4, which is equal to 3 over 4. So as long as S1 bar is less than or equal to 3 over 4, um, the payoff function is exactly equal to 1 over 4 plus S1 bar, which is a straight line. And when S1 bar is 0, it's going to be 1 over 4. So let's say this is half. Um, it means this is half as well. And so uh, this is, uh, let's say, uh, 1 over 4. This is 2 over 4, 3 over 4, etc. So this is 1 over 4, uh, 3 over 4 is here. I am trying to be uh, scale up correctly. So 1 over 4. Through. All right. So until the, so it starts basically from 1 over 4, right? So when S1 bar is 0, uh, the optimal strategy is 1 over 4 plus 0. So it's 1 over 4. And then from there on, it's an, a straight line. It's an increasing uh, straight line. And so all the way up to here. And from this moment on, it's going to be flat. Oops. Uh, because from that moment on, one, 1 over 4 plus S1 bar will be higher than 1, but we are looking at the minimum. And on top of that, strategy above 1 is not a strategy available for player 1, so therefore his, the, the best response is going to be flat from that point on. So that's how the best response function uh, for player 2 will look like. So this is BR2. All right, so that's the first part of this question. What about the second part? The second part of the question is asking to find us the rationalizable strategies for player one and two. I'm gonna denote them, denote these sets R1 and R2, and in fact, they're equal and they're equal to one, meaning only the strategy one will be rationalizable for both players. And here is how we reach to this uh, sort of conclusion. There's going to be several steps, I think three or four steps, of iteration, iterated elimination of strictly dominated strategies. And this is how we're gonna start. So let's start in step one uh, with uh, player uh, two. So what is the rational player one's strategy and rational player's two strategy in step one? All right, so let's start with player two. So the player two, well, 
the player one's, uh, let's start with player one, okay? So the player one strategy, um, so what we are looking here is the following. If a strategy, if a strategy, a, never a best response, well then, it is a dominated strategy. Meaning, if there is no belief for that, for that, that makes this strategy the best possible strategy, well then, that strategy must be dominated uh, strategy. And this is true, remember, for any two-person games. So here, for player one, um, every strategy, every strategy in, in this interval, zero, one interval, I mean, uh, so, for example, any strategy in between 0, 1 over 4, there is a belief about player 2's strategy. Uh, that is going to be best response. All right. So, and that's true for any S1, meaning for any S1, because of this best response function, there's going to be belief here between 0, 1. That's going to make uh, the strategy here a best response. So, therefore, in the first step, um, all the strategies are, in fact, best response to some belief. Well, what about the second player? Well, the second players, uh, let me use the red uh, color now. So he will never use the strategies less than one over four. Why is that so? Well, because for those strategies, there is no belief. There is no S1 bar. That's going to make those strategies best response. Remember, the best response starts from one over four and goes up. For example, when the strategy here is equal to, I don't know, point, uh, uh, point uh, two, right? Or, you know, point one. Well, that strategy will never have best response to any belief in between zero and one. It may be a best response to some belief negative, but you know, the, the negative strategies are not allowed. So the beliefs cannot be negative either. So that means player two will never play those strategies in between zero and one over four but one over four is not included. So that means she's going to ignore those strategies um, because they are strictly dominated. If something is not a best response, it must be strictly dominated. So she is going to play something between one over four all the way up to one, but no less than one over four, all right? So those strategies uh, are, are basically dominated. Well, now let's look at step two. In step two, the best response functions will be the same, right? Because the best response functions depend on the payoffs only. So, but the thing is, the rationalized, the strictly dominated, so now the strictly dominated strategies uh, may be more than, uh, you know, for play, more for player one and for, okay, let me put it this way. Now, uh, strategies that were not strictly dominated in the first round may become strictly dominated, all right? How so? Well, let's call this R12, R22, meaning rationalizable strategies for player one in round two or step two, and rationalizable strategies for player two in round two or step two. All right, so here we know that from the previous round, uh, player two is not gonna play anything less than one over four. But remember, for player one, all those strategies that are less than one over four were best response to strategies of the second player that are less than one over four. Which means, because player two is not going to play those strategies, player one will also never play those strategies. Because those strategies, again, were best response only to those strategies which were eliminated. So that means the second player is going to be playing something between 1 over 4 to 1 in the second round. But what about the first player? Well, the first player is going to... Well, by the way, I mean, here, from which player you start in each round is irrelevant, all right? Uh, well, I mean, it is going to maybe increase or decrease the number of steps, but at the end, the conclusion must be the same, okay? So here, the first player is going to think that, well, you know what? The second, play, I'm sorry, the second player will think that the first player is never going to play the strategies between 0 and 1 over 4, which basically means I shouldn't be playing the strategies either. Why? Well, because those strategies, well, these strategies were not best response anyhow, so I, I, I got rid of them. 
But these strategies are also never a best response because they were best response to those strategies of player one, but the player one is getting rid of those strategies. All right, so therefore, this one over four one should have been the first player, I am sorry. Um, today I am making too much silly mistakes. And so therefore the second player's rationalizable strategies in the second step are gonna be all the strategies between one health all the way up to one. All right, so that's what step two is. Step three, I iterate this, R1, three, the third step rationalizable strategies for player one, and R2, three, the rationalizable strategies of player two in third step. All right. So once again, I'm gonna look at the player one. So the player one is gonna say, look, those block of strategies are best response to those strategies of player two, which I know will never be played. And so, uh, because she's getting rid of those strategies and hence I should be getting rid of them as well. All right, so that means the player one is going to play something between one health to one. Okay, well, what about uh, the second player? Well, the second player is gonna say, hey, look, all those strategies are now eliminated uh, because they're not rational uh, by player one. So therefore, my best response to those strategies are, you know, everything less than three over four, they should be also eliminated. So that means player two is gonna play only uh, strategies between three over four and one. All right, well, can we keep going? Well, probably, let's, let's continue and see if we can keep going. So I'm going to write step four here. Step four, so S1 for S2 for the fourth step rationalizable strategies. Hmm. So here, I'm gonna go back to the first player and look, these are the strategies that player two will never play. And if I look at my best response function, those are the strategies that were best response because of those strategies. But because they're eliminated, well then I should be eliminating those strategies as well. All right, so this elimination goes, uh, you know, a one step lagged for player one in comparison to player two. So that means player one is gonna play anything between three over four or one, but will eliminate everything less than three over four. And well, what about the player uh, one? Player one is gonna say, look, these strategies will be eliminated by player one. And so my best responses to them are everything here. Meaning anything less than one is actually uh, sh I mean, I shouldn't play them because anything less than one best response to some belief which is less than three over four, but those strategies will never be played by my opponent. And so I should never play anything less than one. So you know what? The second player is going to say, well, my only rationalizable strategy is therefore one, right? I'm not getting rid of one because three over four is probably still a rationalizable strategy. I mean, in, in round four, at least, it is still a rationalizable strategy. All right, should I keep going? Well, yeah, yes, the second guy has only one strategy left, but the first guy has still infinitely many. So step five, S1, five, and S2, five. Well, by the way, can I eliminate one? Well, I mean, Player two has only one strategy, right? There's, I mean, there, that means th there is no strategy that can dominate one. So you know what? Uh, one should be the rationalizable strategy for player one. I mean, I can't, uh, I can't eliminate this. Then what am I gonna say? Well, am I gonna say no strategy is rationalizable? Um, well, there's no such, well, it would be a very weird game, but there's no such game where I can say no strategy for a, a player is rationalizable. One play, one strategy, at least one strategy must be rationalizable. Okay, what, what about player five? Uh, player, I'm sorry, player one. So player one is gonna say, look, everything other than one is rationalizable. Hmm, so therefore I can rationalize everything between three over four and one, right? 
for example, can I rationalize this is 0 0.75, 0 0.8? Well, yes, because 0 0.8, right, uh, if you calculate the best response, uh, so here the S1 bar is equal to 3, oh, I'm sorry, uh, oh yeah, okay, what, what am I doing? Oh, I'm doing the following. I'm looking the wrong best response. So here, given that player two can only play one, all right, everything else is dominated, I look at the black curve, uh, which is the best response for player one. So all the strategies less than one are, that means, should be eliminated, all right? Because player two will never play those strategies that are strictly less than one, so therefore, any strategy for player one that is less than, strictly less than one, is not a best response. I mean, they are best response to a strategy that was dominated, meaning, uh, you know, uh, those strategies make sense to play if my opponent is playing those strategies, but my, I know that my opponent is not playing those strategies, and hence I shouldn't be playing strategies less than one. So, you know what? Player one, in the round five, is going to eliminate all the strategies except one, all right? And once again, once I have only one strategy, that means there's no other better strategy, and hence that should be the rationalizable strategy, and I'm gonna stop there. So therefore, the rationalizable strategy for player one and two is the same, and so I denote those sets R1 and R2, and I found this set in five rounds. As I said, if you step, I'm sorry, if you start your step one, uh, from the first player's perspective and then, you know, do the analysis, you would get exactly the same outcome, same conclusion, but maybe in a, a shorter step, all right? Maybe in four steps. But, but nevertheless, regardless of from which player you start elimination, um, the conclusion should be the same. There's only one rationalizable strategy for these players and it's one, okay?